looking at here. These are so small. You guys like my shirt? Mama sent me this shirt. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, I love this shirt. Now I don't have to carry Tyler. I can just wear this t-shirt. I'm running out of shirts, y'all. So we'll just wear this for now. Anyway, welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. And today we're looking at something very, 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 very small. It's so small. It's so tiny. Look, my hands can cover this entire thing. Yeah. So what you're seeing here is Zingbo's original city, XB01105. And four of them, 346 pieces to about 274 pieces and in between. Yeah, so I think these are fairly new from Zingbo. I'm not sure. I can never tell when these things are being released, you know? Some of them are like older, some of them are newer. Who cares? Look at this, it's so small. And I should mention it's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. If you can't afford a big city and you don't want big stuff, you can go very, very small with these. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this set. So I know that there's Sembo Block, there's, there's Laws, there's tons of other brands. I'm slowly building those. I'll do a comparison for you guys in a bit. I know there's so many things to review. I promised some people that I'd do some bigger sets behind me. I will get to them, but you know, these are short and sweet. So let's just jump right into it and take a look at it. We'll do it one by one in random order. Let's do this in random order. Which one do we want to do first? Every day I'm shuffling. Which one do you guys want to pick? Do you want to pick one? I, I don't know. I, I get back the pet shop. Okay. This is the pet shop. Now what's good about this is that they're actually brick size. There's a couple of sets out there that are nano blocks and bricks that I bought that unknowingly were really small. And I'm like, oh man. And we do sell some small stuff on the site. So if you're all ordering some of the sets, please read the descriptions carefully. Make sure you're not buying nanos. Or if you like nanos, go for it. Because you know, a lot of people do like them for the size. But anyway, what's great is that these are normal size bricks. This is the pet shop. Ooh, I love how they use the bicycle, like the handlebars here on the front. That is awesome. Printed signs, I can't believe that. Pet shop with a doggy and a bone on it. A little chihuahua on the front. And you have a recycle bin. It's just, it's just a, like a regular piece. But look at that, that's so cool. It's got the recycle here and the non-recyclables there, trash. And along the front here, you got a little dog house and a fence. And look, they, they, everything's tiled on the first floor, but it's so cool, it's minimized. I mean, you only have a certain amount of space on here, but they still utilize it to the best. I really like that. I love the logo of the doggy. He looks cool up there with his little tail on the second floor. And you got a little tiny, tiny balcony there. It looks cool, I like the tone, I like the color. I think it's really sweet, small. And you got a little dog bone here in the top that's just kind of finishing off the logo on the rooftop. They have the mounts here so that you can click them together to the other sets. And I hope that they make more because they'll probably make more of these. And you can have a little mini city. And on the back here, we have little tiny rooms. On the bottom floor, it's quite a lot inside. There's little, I guess those are like little doggy houses. Got a little countertop here. I'm guessing that's a countertop. Now on the second floor, you got this living room. Hey, how cool is that? It's a little house. It's got a television inside there, a little sofa, and another room. Oh, hey, maybe that's a little doggy room. Yeah. Woof woof. You, know, you probably can't fit much in there. And then on the top floor is a bedroom. There's one piece of bed. I guess they couldn't figure out what they could put in there. And they're like, oh, let's just make it a room or something. Tiny small set. That's it. There's not too much to talk about. Let's jump into the next one. Next one is the bridal shop. The, this is the bridal shop that we're looking at right now. The bridal shop is actually really good. The one thing I really love about these sets is that the printing on the tiles are like, I haven't seen them before. I don't know if they're like exclusive just for this. So if, you, if you're into the prints, if you're into the bricks that are specialized, might be the set for you. So let's take a look here on the front. On the front here, you got two little flower pots. This is really cute. They actually use car tires here on the front. And no doorway, but you have like the window display there looking in. I'm guessing that's the dress on the first floor. And a little heart shape there that will probably represent love, romance, wedding. And then let's look here. You got the name bridal shop here, printed. Granted, no stickers. And then the front window here, you got the bride and groom. They're like the mini mini figures, but that is so cool. They actually put that in there. I think that's really awesome. Along the top here, you got eternal love. They could have just totally cheapened out and just put bricks up here, but it's nice that they printed it. I didn't realize it until I'm shooting these right now that the flag here actually belongs to the pet shop. Well, it looks fine here on the bridal shop. You know, interchange them a little bit, change it up. That's the way I like to do it. Now, actually, I just kind of popped it on the wrong set. Oh well. And if we spin it around and look on the inside, it's supposed to be a bridal shop, you buy the wedding dress there. I think there's supposed to be something on the other side. You know what, maybe I'm missing something here. And on the second floor here, it's just like, I don't know what those are, the stems. I'm not quite sure what they're trying to represent there. The altar maybe? That's where you get married. And then that's it. Next one, let's do it. Okay, this one. This one is, of course, 
copycatting Starbucks. So these guys are really smart. They did not put the Starbucks logo on top. They put their own logo on here using both coffee. And they actually spelled coffee right. It's got that Starbucks look in the Starbucks color and it's a corner shop. I like the front, I like the street lamp. The street lamp does kind of pop off because of this, this little curtain thing kind of hits it in a way. You gotta either put it underneath or above it. And you got a couple flowers there and the, the tiles here. You know, again, not much you can do with it, but it looks cool, it looks ace. I like that nice little awning. And then we got the inside here. On the inside, we've got the coffee shop. You got a little counter there. You know, you can't really do anything with it. And on the second floor, you got like a little cafe. You're just buying this for the exterior. You can't really do anything at all on the inside, but it's still pretty cool. They got little touches in there. Nice, nice. Next, last one, last but not least. This is the florist shop. I like this one quite a lot because there's so many flowers on there. It looks so pretty. And again, you got this circle tile here. Printed sign. You got love for having printed sign. And of course, you got the florist shop sign here. And it looked like an H at first. I thought it said something else. I'm like, oh, oh, florist shop. Okay, I get it now. Backside, you got like the flower shop inside. They got tools inside. It's, it's pretty cute how they did that. They got a little flower here on the other side. They have a tanning area here. That's funny. You can tan and look at the flowers. Next to the tanning room is a little tiny room. I just guess they had no idea what to do with it. They put a little dresser inside. It can be whatever you want it to be. And they have like a little cafe on the top, like a balcony, porch hangout area. So there you go. You can, you know, shuffle these around, put them however you like you want to put them together. It's your call. The corner one, put it there. And look, they're so pretty. You can put them in your office, put them on your desk, put them on your little countertop, admire these. Then you'll be laughing at all of us that are buying all the big stuff that is falling apart or like nowhere to put them and no space and getting dusty. But you can enjoy yourself here in a little, little, little city, original city from Zingbo. So there you guys go. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Break me up! Chomp, 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 Thank you guys so much for all the love and support for this channel.